What's up? Welcome to this collective video. Uh, we're getting right into it and we'll kind of do a little catch up probably in the middle. But we're going to see where the energy is. I'm being told to just get to it. <laughs> when I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. So we are tuning into abundant energy. This is energy that I'm getting, you've been really struggling on adapting yourself into. And recently you've gone through some type of radical transformation in the way that you handle the known obstacles to abundance that you had previously. And now you are working on releasing these obstacles and you're realizing it's a lot of how you see yourself in the moment and how you allow the effect of the past, no matter if it was like for you or against you, I guess, for your like, well, okay, so yeah, because like you're always abundant, okay? And it's usually like abundance that you desire, right? And then it's also abundance that you need. And so sometimes when it comes to the things that don't go right, it kind of seems like there is a multitude of different things that go wrong all at once. And imagine that instead of wrong, at that time, even though you don't know why, it is right for you at the time. There's something about where you're on your path and it's like super, <laughs> like a sharp turn I'm getting where you are given a lot of different outside obstacles more than anything. Um, and it's from other people. Um, it's just from like, uh, well, right now where I'm at, the weather's changing. So the kind of like the roads aren't really the best. And so there's something about I don't know what else to say except it's like the outside is causing a lot of destruction for you in your dreams and your goals. The outside is like causing a lot of obstacles and it's like, for instance, oh, I don't want to say mine, okay? Because like I'm trying to keep on the down low for myself, okay? For myself. But it's like that where it's like things that you have to take care of. Uh, where you could procrastinate on it, but you know that you need to take care of it because it's part of your dreams and goals later on. So there's something about taking care of the things that you're like procrastinating, procrastinating on where you're like, I don't have to, but if I do do this, it's going to help me a whole of a heck of a lot. So it's really interesting of the obstacles are... It's like this like fear that's really grown to be really intimidating because of the choice in pro procrastinating on, I'm getting like something about your actions also need to kind of be made as well when it comes to working on the obstacles. Um, whether it's going outside of you or going within you, I'm getting more so the within you is going to help when it comes to if there is any social obstacles that pop up where you're like get more anxious when you have to socialize and everything with people that you normally don't have to socialize with right so it's kind of like I'm getting that's also part of the obstacles is the whole fear of socializing with people you're not familiar with and there's something about it's really going to be a radical shift in your perspective when it comes to you I'm getting attempting to do these different things and you might be met with like an obstacle of like no this is not going to work today um I was met with that <laughs> so it's a sign also from like the future, from the divine, from your higher self, letting you know you're on track, yes, but it's like now's not the right time. There's something about needing to go back to the books, uh, needing to go back to the basics of the focus point more than anything. 
like what is the priority of the focus point of what you're doing. I'm getting right now the pri priority is changing and it's from you needing to take care of yourself in different ways for your like overall wellness uh, that you haven't been really focused on uh, where it's like now it's kind of like you have a lot of different outside elements that are telling you to focus on these different parts of your wellness that's been a little bit procrastinated on. That's okay. It's something where it's a, if you're able to like understand why you procrastinate and you're able to understand yeah, I'm getting it's like just listening to like, oh, I have been procrastinating on this. Uh, the reasons why there's going to be something about who you are that you didn't even know about who you are. Like, like a side to you, you didn't even know you had, I guess. Um, like, for instance, if you start like a new hobby or something and you find that you really love it you're like oh I didn't even know I really love let's say boxing like for me I started to like punch the punching bag and it's so cool like learning how to punch and everything and for me it's like I didn't even know really that I would love punching until I did it but I did know because I watched a lot of like Laura Croft movies and like I love I love it you know what I mean um Karate Kid yes please you know what I mean so anyway, uh, the universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. So this realignment, the change, um, the area of procrastination where you can make those radical changes, I'm getting, it's something about you not confronting where it's like you're going to bring out fear, but it's like you are more so revealing, right? more than anything, reasons or areas, something about you loving yourself even more after going through all of these different things. Um, I see a blue jay. Blue jays have been really adamant <laughs> for like the message. Uh, there's something about how blue jays are territorial. They're protective, they're very assertive. Uh, dom domineering types of birds when it comes to their home base. I don't really know if they travel too far from their like nest or whatever. Um, but I also do see blue jays in a pair typically um, or there's like a group of them. So there's something about also I'm getting something about groups of people, groups of people who are assertive something about also emotional boundaries we're going to talk about that see if that how that all wraps into play when i introduce joy to a situation i change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me so i wonder if there's some kind of boundaries when it comes to your embodiment of joy your state your current state of embodiment is in joy there's something how these different obstacles in your dreams and everything and the procrastination is really allowing the joy to get desaturated. And there's something about, man, everyone, <laughs> I'm being told like, okay, Leah, you're sounding like a little pessimistic. Yeah, like there's something about that tuning into, I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, but like your inner child so that you can tune into joy. And I mentioned a little earlier about hobbies. In these hobbies, I'm getting told something about how it's really important at this time to really honor your inner child as you go through uh, these different outside obstacles that really, yeah, really mess with your embodiment of joy and it's like the things you can't change you know you can't change how a person is to you you do though have the ability to change how you um handle what is given to you by another okay here we go Ooh, so i'm seeing a squirrel i wish i could show you 
maybe one day maybe one day but i'm seeing a squirrel actually and i think i don't know and the blue jay is like uh was loud interesting interesting it's like, it, it looked like right at me i love it <laughs> anyway so what i'm getting is there's something about uh working right now right now like in your life on boundaries on emotional boundaries when something about how it's i don't know if it's like sp specifically for joy but there's something where these boundaries are really going to be able to help you feel separated from being given or like well not from being given it's like from basically thinking that whatever you're given by another person in the way that they treat you is how you're supposed to be treated forever there's something about how we're really radically changing the way that you perceive yourself in the moment when you're given a lot of bs by other people and their behaviors in the moment um, and there's something about also because I'm getting that you're someone who does know in terms of intention, in terms of like intentional, how would I put this? Direction of intention from someone else outside of you. It's something where you've gone through a lot of experiences really, I would say I'm getting like misjudging someone and taking their word over your own intuitional kind of like nudges totally fair okay but there's something about how there's something where it's like this is like the emotional boundaries is tied to that sort of conditioning where you're conditioned to really perceive someone else as they know more of who you are than you know yourself in the moment it's something about where it's like i don't know what but you're working i'm getting on grounding yourself in the moment and listening to how you feel and there's something where it's like you listening to yourself in the moment is allowing yourself to like how to how i guess like really kind of not confront the feeling but really understand that the energy you're embodying, the feeling you're embodying is someone else's embodiment, someone else's feelings. And there's something about how you have this really amazing ability to understand, to take on other people's embodiments when it's like it's too much for them to take on too. I'm getting it's like, uh, I don't know how, but it's kind of like you have this really awesome ability to like regenerate your like emotional embodiment like in a way where it's like really surprising <laughs> where you're like like an alchemist you know you're given like base metals which would be what you're given when it's like super uncomfortable and it's someone else's embodiment and then you transmute it and you alchemize it in the moment or whenever you choose to whenever that moment is, um, where you're transmuting it into gold. So you're transmuting this whole experience into some kind of success. Success. La 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 la. La la, a lot of S's in that, not that word. But you're able to really transmute and find some kind of abundance where before it would be really, really like depriving you of the joy. There's something where it's like now this whole like switcheroo of your mindset, if you will, um, like a whole 180 instead of really looking at this in a pessimistic way where it takes over yourself. It's going to be an optimistic way where you're able to overtake um, and kind of go on manual. You know how to drive like a manual so you don't have to drive auto or whatever. I mean, you wouldn't be driving auto the vehicle will be the auto you know the vehicle will be driving right so we, when in times when you get to that place where you start to feel like everything is getting out of control 
like you yourself are out of control. I'm getting that this is where you're really working on those radical changes to gain control in ways where you've adapted from different kinds of uh, childlike fun activities. Like, I don't know, personally for me, I love walking, I love singing, I love talking, I love creating for like my inner child activities. So that's kind of what I tap in and tune in to do. Um, for you, it's going to be similar where it's going to be something of your inner child feels joy, feels elated. And so the really amazing thing is that in the moments that you choose to do like those activities to separate yourself from, I'm getting like from focusing on the chaos is when the obstacles are able to be like released, unblocked, and removed. So it really is like, wow, you are an important person in your journey. Like, mm, that's amazing. You see how intense my vein is? Yeah, that's how intense this stuff is. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, it really is. Mm. Ah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I did not. Sorry, I'm like caught off guard by the veins of my forehead. Good Lord, there must be a lot of blood going into my third eye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, so when I introduce joy to a situation, so like when, when you know that there is some, like, I don't know, something where you're just like, that is an unfortunate event I just went through and I need to still take care of. Yeah, it's like these events where you weren't planning on this kind of chaotic, um, like things going awry, awry, awry. I'm also seeing a hawk, just to let everyone know. Seeing a hawk, okay? So if a hawk is significant to you, however it's significant is, there it go. Anyway, so um, yeah, there's something about that though, where it's like you are now taking over control of these situations where before you would have been really like yeah like depressed and like anxious and it would have really eaten oh gotten under your skin like something that really bothered you later on it's very interesting because you're saving yourself a lot of time and energy in the future of having to like cut through these kind of energetic emotional cords that you have with your past self in your emotional body back then, and then your present self in your emotional body now. It's interesting because with time and everything and how us as individuals experience time, we experience it differently altogether through the experience itself. And so when you go through life and you go through these really uncomfortable like moments in life and it's like kind of traumatizing okay those are moments that will be with you throughout your life until you choose to work on letting them go and you choose to acknowledge that they really did shape you in a certain way but it's not you in the entirety of who you are in the future you're going to go through experiences similar where you can prevent yourself from kind of going down in like the downward spiral by allowing yourself to like set those emotional boundaries, allowing yourself to separate from whatever it is that's the source of the frustration, thus saving you time and energy from having to do that anyway. Um, and this will also, I'm getting really help build your trust in yourself when it comes to how you live your lifestyle day to day, period, point blank. Okay, cool. Let's see what else. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. So this is kind of like, I'm kind of getting like intermission. You know, you are, um, yeah, you're on like the manifestation journey kind of lifestyle sort of thing where it's based off of your intention set 
is something where it's like you know enough to know the outcome of your action in the now which is so lit y'all lit right so since you know this like i'm gonna say you are way more evolved and you choose to do this mind you you've made this choice on going on the journey you've gone to a point where you can recognize your state of embodiments in the now and notice that i say s with embodiments emotional mental spiritual oh my gosh oh my gosh y'all i could cry i am literally seeing like a group of crows pass on by hold on i need to take a minute that is so uh confirmation y'all like you have come so far and i'm getting that you were really questioning a lot of things about who you are just as a unique miracle of life and a lot of these different things that you've really been dealing with have um like you've really kind of separated from who you are because there's something about the whole mind play that comes into play when it comes to other people being dishonest while you are honest and you choose to stay honest and you choose to follow your word and there's something about how these emotional boundaries are really helping you understand what it is that you feel within you that's you and then also what is within you that isn't you. And there's something about how it's like, this is part of your life. Like you are someone who has this ability to regenerate the way that you see yourself so that it's, it's so beautiful. Like I'm just getting like a job well done from like so, so many, uh, support on the other side like the spiritual realm like the world needs people like you so much and it's just so amazing because like bro like your presence is bringing me to tears because i'm just so glad that you're here and it's like so credible because it's like you don't even see it within yourself like you're getting there but there's been a lot of years where you saw yourself with like disgust and it's totally understandable because of the way that you felt right and so the more that you allow yourself to let go of the past and not like throw it away but you're finding honor like within yourself that connects you to the past that satisfies your past self and i'm getting it's like how you treat yourself in the now is really how you're really going to honor the past selves that went through so much so much that like broke your heart that separated who you are your hopes your dreams now i'm really seeing you really like making the hard decisions that before you were really scared to make now you're making and it's really revolutionary of liberating your own like soul Ugh. amazing amazing okay all right <laughs> like y'all 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 the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them The more that you allow yourself to claim what I'm getting like, like it's really hard to look at the past for you and to still have hope for the future because it was so bleak of affection, of love, of just support. And there's something about you're supporting yourself now like when you support yourself now, when you listen to yourself now, when you honor how you feel now in every situation you're in, in the day to day, is the support that you 
needed back then that you're giving to yourself. The more that you allow yourself, even if you start to feel that fear of like things will go bad again, there's something about There's something about reminding yourself like that you can forgive this feeling and you can give it to God, to the divine, to your spirit team on the other side and allow yourself to feel the relief that in the past it happened and right now is not the past. And this is a way that you can separate also from the intense control that it has over your emotional body in the current moment. Like I get it right now. <laughs> I wasn't planning on crying, but like, why not? You know, I need to water myself anyway. Okay, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. Okay, so. Yeah, that's gonna be the video. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this really awesome adventure throughout the timeline, whatever, of our lives. You know, it's just a bunch of confusion <laughs> that we're just taking day by day and we're trying, y'all, okay? All of us are trying. Um, and it gets pretty heavy sometimes in terms of just feeling responsible of the world, your world, yourself. Um, and it's, I'm getting like told to really emphasize that you are such an important person in your world. And I'm I am an important person in my world and that your world wouldn't be here without you and that my world wouldn't be here without me and that our worlds together need us supporting ourselves first in ways of listening to ourselves and allowing ourselves to really listen to where we're at now and how we feel about where we're at now as individuals in our own individual lives that are collabing with other people, um, whether it's codependent, dependent, or just yourself. Um, the responsibility of taking care of oneself is a challenge a lot of the time in this day and age and maybe forever in all of life. And maybe that's the whole kind of journey with our lives is how can we as individuals take care of ourselves first, fill up our cups, and then fill up other people who need help as well. So on and so forth. Every day, sun. Yeah, every day there is a sun that rises. Luckily, imagine if we didn't have the sun to rise to. Sorry, that might have. I might have dove too deep there. My bad. <laughs> my questions. Ooh, is that my kind of thing that I need to look at? Yes. Yes, it is. That's good to know. Okay. Anyway, if anyone's wondering. My coffee is a, I usually get like a large, but uh, this is a medium. I spread they with an extra shot and caramel. But honestly, like I could go for five extra shots and it would be great. But the large, I guess is like four shots in, of itself. So if I get an extra shot, it'd be five shots. Here, I think it's probably like two shots or maybe three shots, maybe two. And then I get an extra shot for three shots. And then small is like one shot. And then I get an extra shot. But honestly, I could totally go for like a thousand shots of espresso. Way too much. But game on. Let's go. Anyway, some rando facts about me. Who I am in this moment. In my fave coffee. Do you have a seven brew in your town? Let me know in the comments section down below. <laughs> no, you don't have to, but anyway. Thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate your presence, your authenticity, and yeah, you walk and talk a miracle of life. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.